today I am sharing my top eight favorite bronzers with you. I kind of thought eight might be a few too many, but I wanted to share some cream options as well as a couple of drugstore favorites that I love, and it ended up being eight. It is that time of year for everyone to get their sun-kissed glow on, to get their bronze on. The hot weather's here. I know a lot of people pull out the bronzer around this time of year, even though a lot of people like myself like it year round, but I thought it might be a good time to do this video. Before I get into everything, if you enjoy everyday realistic beauty and you are not subscribed to this channel yet, I would love to have you here on a regular basis. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and be sure and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload videos. And let's get into the first product. And I'll just state the obvious one for those of you who have been with me for a while. This one you have heard me talk about several times, many times. This is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. I have a backup of this in a drawer, even though I haven't even come close to hitting pan on this, but I got scared the first time they discontinued it because it was limited edition. And when it came back out, I immediately grabbed it and fell in love with it and went out and got another one because I never want to be without this bronzer. The reason why I passed on it the first time is because it was really pricey and I thought, why on earth am I gonna pay that much for a bronzer when I have others that can do the same thing? However, there is something magical about this bronzer. It is not too warm, it's not too cool, it's that perfect undertone for so many people and it is large. You do get a large amount of product for your money. So you are actually getting a great deal with this bronzer, believe it or not. There's a big mirror in here. If you do decide to travel with it, it's a little bit dusty. This is probably my favorite bronzer out of all of them. And I very rarely lead off with my favorite product, but I have some others that uh, I'll probably say the same thing about in a second. So let's move into the next product. This next product was in a video of mine recently. I'll link it down below. It was called Drugstore Products That Are As Good As High End Products. I think that was the name of the video. Anyway, so we're going from a high end product to a drugstore product, one extreme to another. I think the quality of this bronzer, I keep wanting to say blush. I think the quality of this bronzer is fantastic. The shade is beautiful. The packaging is really nice. And I reach for it quite often. This is the number seven golden sand bronzer. And that is what that looks like. I just think it's lovely. It is a matte bronzer, very similarly to the Marc Jacobs. And if you want a good drugstore bronzer that doesn't have any scent and it's very silky and doesn't have any shimmer to it at all, this one is really, really good. This next product is a cream product. I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned it on my channel, but I've dipped into it quite a bit. It's looking mm, kind of rough, I guess. This is the RMS Bariti bronzer. And it looks like this. It's got kind of a shimmer to it, but it applies and looks really natural. I use either a stippling brush or another, you know, just kind of a flat brush. And I just love it. It's got almost a red undertone to it, but it doesn't make your skin look red. It just gives you a nice sun-kissed look. And if you're someone who likes cream products, this is a great one. It's very compact if you want it for travel as well. I just find if you're looking for something that looks like that natural kind of tan look, this one is great. Actually, they all really are. <laughs> it just depends on what you're looking for, but I really could not narrow this down when I was trying to. So this is what we ended up with. Okay, the next one was actually recommended to me from a lot of you guys. And I resisted on it forever because I just didn't think I needed it. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. You get a lot for your money with this bronzer. Now it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. I typically don't like bronzers with a lot of shimmer to them because I don't want my whole face to look like it has a layer of highlighter on it. And some bronzers do give you that look if they have too much shimmer mixed into them. When I look at foundation shades, I'm usually in the shade light medium and I got the shade medium. I tried the shade light and it was too light. I didn't really like it, but shade medium works really well for me. This is very silky. It gives such a natural bronzed glow to the skin. You just can't even tell that you're wearing bronzer. I mean, I guess, you know, that's the goal, right? You don't want to look like you're wearing bronzer, but this is just such a subtle 
subtle glow and it's again not too warm not too cool it just looks so beautiful on the skin this is a great product and I, I feel like I really like a lot of bare minerals products so if you haven't tried that one that's a great one to try I kind of forgot about this next bronzer because it was in a drawer since last summer I've been using rotating other things and it was just in in a drawer it is what i have on my face today it's such a nice subtle shade and i do have it in another shade that i'll tell you about in a minute as well that's really great this is the second one of these that i've gone through this is the becca bronzer in the shade capri coast this gives that beachy glow especially if you have light or light to medium skin a little bit goes a long way but it looks so beautiful on the skin it does have a subtle sheen to it but that's what gives that glow it's just an effortless effortless look and I find that most of Becca's powder products are just top notch and this is no exception this is a contender with the Marc Jacobs that shade specifically the other shade that I have is called bronze Bondi the one that I put pan on is Capri Coast and this one is bronze Bondi so the Capri Coast is lighter a little more golden the bronze Bondi has a little more red in it so in the dead of the summer when you want a little bit more this one is really great for that but the quality of becca bronzers is fantastic it would not be a bronzer video from me if i did not include physician's formula butter bronzer i think this is great i do know some people have issues with the scent but some people really love the scent because it does smell kind of like summer i have the light shade in this and it works really well for me i think that i would do well with the regular shade but i'm just not going to get it until i run out of this because frankly i have plenty of bronzers to use between now and then the texture of this is so silky even in comparison to all of these there's just something about it that just you almost can't even feel it underneath your finger it's so silky but you can smell it so if you don't like scent in your bronzer again don't get this one but i just love the way this looks on the skin it wears beautifully a little goes a long way and it's a great drugstore product i feel like this next brand is very underrated you just don't hear a lot about them but most of what you hear is good so i don't really know why more people don't talk about them this bronzer is from the balm and it's called take home the bronze and it's in the shade oscar their packaging is really cute too by the way it's a great neutral shade so if you're wanting something that could maybe do double duty as a contour and a bronzer this is one that you should go for it works really great for both and actually the Marc Jacobs does too I'm trying to think out of all of these those are the two that I would use for both of those just use a heavier hand for contour and a lighter hand for the bronzer because most of the time bronzers are warmer than your contour shades but every now and then you'll find a gem that is neutral enough to use for both and this one and the Marc Jacobs are both that kind of neutral shade that just work really well for both. Now this one doesn't feel quite as silky in the pan, but it does apply very smoothly to the face and it does wear really well throughout the day. The price point is good. The packaging is nice. It travels well. So if you haven't tried this or you haven't tried the balm in general, this would be a great place to start. The last bronzer I have talked about before, and this is on the pricier end again, I have to mention it because it is just so good. And there's a reason why it always comes up in people's favorites videos and in their favorite bronzers. And it's the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. This is a cream product and you get a ton of it for your money. So the price point seems high but it will last you forever it looks like it might be kind of moussey but it's kind of hard in here kind of like the rms bariti bronzer it almost looks like it's going to be orangey but it's not it is so natural looking on the skin on so many different skin tones it applies so easily with a fluffy brush you just buff it in all over your face and it just looks beautiful this is one of those no-brainer products that a lot of people love because it does give such a great glowy natural look and it's it's pretty effortless i feel like the swatches don't do these justice because they look so different when they're on the face but i wanted to just kind of compare the undertones of them for you and show them here let me know what your favorite bronzer is down below i hope you enjoyed seeing what my top favorite bronzers are if you're not subscribed to this channel please hit that subscribe button i would love to have you back here on a regular basis thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video Bye bye